What's up everyone, welcome back to D-Man's Vids, my name is D-Man and this is my one company, 10th Doctor's Sonic Screwdriver, a little bit dusty from being in the case unused for so long. In this video I'm going to be showing you how to remove the internal battery, how to replace it, which battery to use and what to watch out for. Just a small disclaimer, uh, if you do choose to do this, that's your own choice, I can't be you know you can't be holding me responsible for any damage that may occur to your sonic while you're doing this repair but why would you want to do this repair in the first place if it is slightly dangerous well these screwdrivers came out a long time ago nearly nearly 10 years ago now and the battery inside them is very very small it's only like 20 amp hours i think the original one is the problem with that is that when a battery is charged up and depleted and charged up and depleted and charged up and depleted it gets run down it loses its capacity and over time it eventually stops functioning altogether so what that means is you have to take the device apart you have to replace the battery and this will be normal for most of you with phones especially you know you have to replace a battery in a phone just as you do in this one so today i'm going to use my ifixit kit i'm going to show you how to take this apart and what to put back inside it to make sure that it works properly again here we go all right, so I have here my 10th Dr. Sonic screwdriver and my iFixit kit. Uh, like I said, this is a little bit of a dangerous one uh, because you can potentially irreparably damage the plastic uh, surround of this device. So do go at this with caution. Uh, essentially, you can see if I hold this up to the camera, you can see that I've actually been in here before. There's some scuff marks around the aluminium collar. I went at it quite brazenly. You can only really see if you look closely, but you can see that there is some damage that can happen. So again, just to be very careful, my Sonic does, of course, still work at the minute. Battery's dead, ironically. So, to start off with, I'm going to take this pry tool. And to remove, basically the way the Sonic is uh, designed, uh, there's an internal core that moves up and down with the head. And then there's this section here which does not move so it's kind of like two separate parts that slide against each other like that what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take your pry tool preferably something a little bit more professional the kitchen knife and just kind of squeeze it into this little gap right here just in between the collar and the plastic now the way this device is structured there are two plastic clips going down along the side here and along the side again on the other side basically the two clips on either side of the screwdriver holding the aluminium head on so as i said when you do this be very careful that you don't snap those plastic clips like i did because that can make it a lot harder for you in the future you just want to leave with the plastic collar off like this extend that out and you can see here that my the, my sonic is kind of binding at a particular point that's where the clip will be located so you really want to be very very careful when you're removing this collar just go around the sides slowly and surely don't rush because these are getting very very expensive and a mixed stick on this device let's <sighs> let's not think about that <laughs> so just do it, go around the device, leaving it off, and your collar will pop off like this. You can see here now it's been removed. And what this allow you to do is allow you to just slide the body <coughs> of the screwdriver out. This blue insert may fall out. That's okay. This is the blue insert that goes along here. Just adding that little extra bit of detail right there. We can set these two parts to the side. We don't need them at the minute. This is what makes a screwdriver function. You can see here this is your button, which is fixed in place on the top of the section. You've got your emitter head, you've got your collar held in place, don't worry about that. And you've got a slightly dusty electronics chamber. All the electronics, apart from the emitter obviously, and the light, are contained inside this silver tube right here. So, to open that silver tube, you can take some kind of pokey thing, preferably a relatively soft one, because it's made out of metal avoid. Avoid using something made out of metal, rather. Uh, let's take this thing here. And you can see here along the side, there are little clips there. And there's some more on up the body as well. Just holding the body in together. It's made out of two halves. Just holding it together like that. What you're going to want to do is take your pokey thing, which is the official name, 
and just separate it like that so the body comes apart. Now, when I did my repair, I didn't really go any further than this in terms of disassembly because I was worried about damaging the internal section of the sonic screwdriver, obviously being such an expensive device. I was very, very scared. So I just separated the two halves like this. And there you go. So what you're looking at here, if I just hold this correctly for a change, is your battery, which I've already replaced, your built-in speaker, your button, and the plastic section underneath it to transfer the light from the LED on the circuit board up to the button itself. So to change the battery, what you're going to want to do, I'm actually going to zoom in for this because it's getting quite difficult to see. Perfect. So what you're going to want to do at this section is lever the battery out somehow, preferably with something again, not very sharp, just lift the entire board out like that, it'll be fine. <clears throat> and you can see here, it is a really, really tiny battery. Each square on this board beneath us is one centimeter. So this is a really, really small battery. Uh, I will put a link to a suitable battery to replace with this with in the description below. It's not an affiliate link, it's just one that I know will fit because I've done it already. And <clears throat> essentially what you want to do is it'll be stuck down to the main board with some tape. You just want to lever it off with your plastic pry tool, being very, very careful not to snap any components. Some things might fall off the main board, like the speaker cover, that's okay. Just be very, very careful. If you want, actually, what I'd probably recommend is keep the speaker cover on and keep one side of the plastic attached, because what that will do is it will protect the connection between the wires going up to the emitter head right here and the circuit board because they're really really fragile and you don't want them to snap so keep one side on so that it, the device holds its shape you can just leave the board out like that and that'll do fine basically what you're going to want to do is remove the battery from the main board then you can cut the red and blue wires that are soldered on to the main board you can get your new battery and solder the longer wires of the new battery to the wires that already exist here. I wouldn't recommend, unless you know how, I wouldn't recommend soldering it directly to the board. Use the wires that are already there to give yourself a bit of extra room to play with. Cut them nice and long so you have, really do have extra wire because the last thing you'd want is something to go wrong with this device. No spare parts apart from the battery obviously, so be very, very careful. Once you get the new battery in, you can plug it into to the charger, make sure it charge it up for a little bit, make sure that it holds charge uh, for maybe longer than it did. Always make sure that it turns on before you reassemble it because you know you don't, you don't want to have to reopen this anytime soon. Uh, so to reassemble it's pretty much the same in reverse. You need to be careful when it comes to this small button and LED matrix here. You can't really see it but under where the LED matrix goes there is a tiny, tiny, there's actually two tiny little LEDs and you'll see it when you take it apart, but this clear section that goes on the bottom of the button actually has two little legs. And what they do is they just slot over the... And what they do is they just slot over the top of the LEDs like so. So from my perspective, you will have a leg facing forwards towards the emitter and you'll have a leg facing right hand ways. And you can uh, make sure to put your little button on top. Uh, right the way. Quite a fiddly job. Put this down. Like that. This will slot in sideways. You'll see the mechanism. It's okay. You you know what to do. This is really really fiddly. Mm, okay, so the button grabbing mechanism is on the other side of the board. I'm just going to swap the plastic shells for the one that has the grabby bit for the button. Okay, there we go. 
My huge hands don't make this job any easier than it already needs to be. Just put that. Uh, come on. So we get the other half of the plastic shell. Make sure everything's tucked in. The battery will need to fit underneath this little plastic clip here, and make sure that. It's now taped down before you reassemble it, because otherwise it'll be shaky and loose inside. So what I'm going to try and do now is I'm going to try and reassemble the device. And hopefully the button will work once it's together. Otherwise I'll have to reshoot this segment and I don't want that to do that. So let's put, hold this in place. Squeeze the body together. There you go. So what you have is now, it looks quite proud. That's okay. When you click it, you should feel the plastic go down and press a tiny little micro switch. You might, when you hold it down, it'll probably turn on. Mine's doesn't at the minute because the battery's dead, but that's okay. As you can see here, uh, like I'd mentioned before, uh, I did break some of the plastic clips. I broke this one, so there's four. I forgot, I thought there was two, there's kind of two sides. I broke this one here because I just went out with a kitchen knife. Please don't go out with a kitchen knife. To reassemble, make sure you have your blue section from before and you're just going to want to take that with the wide side towards the top and slide it down the body like so i'm going to do a very awful job see the wide section slide it down the body like that that's going to be very difficult to see for you it'll clip into place and hold itself up so when you tap the body it should not fall so then you're just going to put the sonic in like this obviously line the button up with the slit that it goes into line the aluminium up with the collar and the little slit here should be lined up with the center slit of the sonic and just click together gently make sure it's even on all sides it might take a little bit of pressure there we go so now it's reassembled you should check check your movements to make sure that it's extending and retracting nice and smoothly and then once you hold on your power button you should have a nice bright light show on again if your battery still does not work i don't know what you've done to it uh there might be a problem with the motherboard internally uh you have to contact the one company and try and get a replacement board because and you're probably not going to be able to get your hands on, on one to be honest with you because these are getting very very expensive but anyway that is how you replace the internal battery in the one company 10th Dr. Sonic screwdriver. Like I said, I'll have a link to a suitable battery in the description below and also a description of the battery, uh, both dimensions and uh, electronic specifications. Uh, if you like this video, let me know. Uh, I have some more one company videos that I need to do, but this was just a very quick one just to show you how to do it because I know <laughs> it's a very scary thing to attempt because I, I was definitely very scared myself when I did it. So. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.